Hey everyone, so this week here in the shop, uh, it's kind of exciting because we're working on four actually of our biggest tables we've ever done. Uh, there is one big 15 foot conference table that's for a gaming company in Edmonton we're going to show you. We've got a 20 foot wine tasting table for the Sterling Club in Las Vegas. And then we have two big conference tables for Elliston here in Calgary. Uh, one of them 16 feet and the other is 10 feet. So I'm going to kind of show you guys around at them right now and you can see where they're at and then we'll show you as they progress through the week and show you where we get to. Uh, hopefully most of the tables besides Ellis and Don should get some oil on them. So starting right here, these are the Sterling Club tables. So originally it actually was one giant slab. Uh, this end here was actually joined with that end, the far end down there. But the Sterling Club wanted this to be made in two pieces so that they could have it either together or separate if they're having functions. Um, right now, actually, what we're doing, if you check it out, we've done our pour. We're going along with 15 minute epoxy and filling in all these little imperfections. And I'll show you guys, you guys always ask. So here's the product. It's the System 3 15 minute quick cure. And we like to use this stuff after the initial pour as opposed to the same product that we use for the pour because it only takes 15 minutes to cure. If we were to fill these holes with the same product we use for the main pour, it would take like three days and we don't really have that kind of time to wait. So we do all these fills and then 15 minutes later we will just come and sand it off. Uh, then we'll take it up to 320 grit and put some oil on it. have the the wine tasting tables upstairs here. Joe already got the first coat done on this one over here. Oh, bam. Extra thin? Extra thin. Extra thin, yeah. So it's got the smoky gray, the Clara Walnut from GL Veneer. Uh, this stuff you can see has that kind of nice rippled effect all the way down. Uh, this piece had a lot of epoxy. This one does too, but the wood has like even more character kind of than that one. There's some decay there, really nice figuring. So he's gonna do the same thing he just did, put the first cone on, and I I think this one's gonna look amazing. I'm excited for this. Oh, those little islands are awesome. Yeah, those look so good. Oh, this part. Look at them. You can actually see them now. <laughs> this part here is gonna be so nice too. Yeah. Oh yeah. going to brand the bottom of the tables. One of the tables for Ellis Dawn. So this is actually going to be the 16 foot one and we've got it marked out down there where we're going to cut. Uh, this one is going to have a pretty big resin fill so we're probably going to do a solid black fill in here. This is actually all natural decay that's happened and we've already went in with a wire wheel and cleaned all of this out which 
that is a step that's really important if you're going to be filling something with epoxy. If you don't use a wire wheel to get rid of all that, uh, like the debris, it's not going to be a strong bond. This is the big one, and then if we head on over here on the CNC already, we've got the, the 10 foot table for Ellis Dawn. So, this is the 10 footer, uh, we've got it slightly oversized. This one has a resin fill too, not quite as big, but we're going to also fill that with black. So, first step though, we're going to flatten it because it'll be easier to get a sealed mold on the bottom. And then after it's flat, we'll build the mold, do the pour, let it cure. Friday now we're just about done for the week and we had a busy week it was a productive week but we had lots going on so I'm just gonna walk you guys through the shop show you what we got accomplished and I'll kind of talk about what we even have going on next week so this end of the shop down here you can see lots of slabs this is from those uh, our big slab sale where we said we're cutting up those big slabs making smaller ones this is sort of what's left from that um, Tables. There's the 16 footer. This is for Ellis Dawn uh, here in Calgary. They're building a new head office. So these tables are actually so big that they're going to go in with a crane. So that's very exciting. Uh, this one will probably get flattened on Monday. This one's already flat as you guys can see. So we're going to be putting the mold on next. But really, really nice material for TL veneer. And go watch that video if you haven't. It. It's our, uh, I think it's called Buying the Nicest Live Inch Slabs in LA. It shows us getting all these slabs. So you guys should go check that video out. Um, heading down here, here's the slabs that have actually got cut up for our slab tail. So this is a cart that's been flattened and still needs to be sanded. So you can see really nice walnut grain in here. And then Dennis is flattening some more on the BSC. Um, this way we've got another cart. This is just more smaller stuff. This stack of material here I believe is what's getting plain just because it's narrow enough to fit through the planer. So either one of these. Uh, right now though Spencer's actually planing up some parts for a coffee table we have coming up. So it's solid walnut leg. And this particular table it's that quilted maple slab and I'll show you that up in the pour room before we end. Uh, the four inch thick one that's what's going to get used for that. Then finally upstairs here, Josiah is doing is this first coat. I have no idea what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah, he doesn't <laughs> usually actually. He doesn't usually know. Yeah, this is first coat on the bottom. Nice, nice. So these are the the you, you guys saw the the coat go on the top yesterday. Now we've got them flipped over. The coat's going on the bottom, and I think Josiah Brand. Oh, tell him the the thing you did. Like why you put him here? Oh, I actually uh, lined them up so that when we put the tables back to back to each other, they'll actually line up just roughly in the same spot from each other. So it'll look pretty nice and clean. It'll look pretty good. It's the little details. We, we pay attention to those things. Most people probably don't, but we do. We notice them. Yeah, so these are, we're waiting on the legs still for this delivery here. Um, they should be probably arriving next week. So this will be getting shipped down to Vegas probably end of next week or early in the following week. Uh, those ones over there, the black walnut for the other conference table, that's going to be getting delivered probably in about a week and a half. We're driving up to Edmonton to the head office to deliver that. And our new epoxy shipment should be showing up next week, so that's sort of what we've got planned for next week. Uh, I'll take you guys in the pour room and I'll show you the molds that we've got built and ready. This is that four inch thick maple that I was telling you guys about. So quilted maple, solid four inches thick. Now normally people can't pour 
uh, to this thickness in a single pour. Like there's even, there's another big table maker uh, that that's similar to us on Instagram. I saw they're making a four inch thick table right now, but they have to do it in two pours. We are gonna be able to do this in a single pour, partially because of the product we're using, which is something exciting that's in the works that you guys will hear about soon. Uh, and, but a big part of it is the room we're in here and our aluminum molds. So we have an air conditioned room with aluminum molds. It pulls out all the heat generated by the chemical reaction so we can do thicker pours than recommended. So we have the quilted maple for next week and then over here, underneath these blankets, we have got, I won't take them all off just to do all leave them covered. We've got some nice black walnut slabs. These are salvaged black walnut from, uh, I believe these are Southern Ontario they came from. And this is just gonna be a tabletop, no legs for this one. We're sending it down to a designer in California. Uh, it's for a project they're working on with their client and they already have a table base. They just want a nice new tabletop, so that's what this is gonna be for. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video this week. Again, this was more of kind of like a weekly vlog style video just showing you guys what we have going on in the shop and what we're working on. Let us know if you like these or if you more so like it when we follow a specific project because we like to hear from you guys on what you want to see the most. Uh, but if you did enjoy this video, leave a like, don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you guys next week.